All right, I gotta feed the meter. It only uh, allows me to park for two hours. All right, and here I am all loaded up. Uh, I've gotta walk a couple blocks, um, and I'm heading to California Street. There's a cable car stop I like to paint from because it's right in the middle of the street looking, I think it's looking east, and uh, it's a scene I've done before, but I've never done a 16 by 16, so this will be interesting. I think the biggest I did was a 12 by 12. Okay, there's the spot. There's the view. All right, so under normal circumstances, this whole platform would be filled with people waiting for cable cars to go up and down California Street. Uh, but right now, obviously, cable cars aren't running, and so I've got the whole platform to myself. I have painted on this platform uh, when there have been like, say, 50 or 70 people even, just totally packed. So this is a good place to get over your fear of vlogging in public. Okay, so I'm thinking something like this maybe. Although this building to the left is kind of tall. I don't know, I might cut off. I might either shorten it or, I don't know. Yeah, I might shorten it a little bit. I'm just gonna play around and see what I come up with. So I've got my Anderson easel and somebody asked why I use the Anderson easel. It's a lot more stable. Uh, when I'm scrubbing in vigorously on the panel, uh, it's nice to have a very stable easel. I'm using Liquin, Odorless Mineral Spirits, and I'm probably gonna use this number 10 Bright and, and this number eight Flat Natural Bristle. So there's the basic composition. This is kind of a common composition for me when I'm doing cityscapes. Um, I might actually, I might make the road a little higher. I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe I'll go with this. So the next thing will be to just kind of lay in all these shadow shapes. All right, and as you guys know, when I go out and I plein air paint, my goal is not necessarily to get a good painting. It's just to do a painting, period. So I have no expectations today. Um, this is larger than I usually do, so, and I've got limited time, so I'm no expectations, just gonna have fun with it. Okay, so I broke it down into dark and light. Uh, there are certain areas where there's like this sort of purplish colored building over here. I, I put that in dark just because I wanted to have this foreground all in dark. I didn't want any light right up close. Um, the sky is gonna, you know, that's a substantial part of the composition and it'll really define these buildings here. Um, so yeah, it'll just be shadow and then all the light portions of the building and the sky. So I think I'll block in the sky next.
this was a quick block in, just like if I'm doing a seascape or it doesn't really matter. Uh, same sort of thing, block in the darks, then kind of approximate the lights and then decide whether I like the composition or not. And I, I do, I think it's got a good feel to it. There, there's already a feeling of light. Uh, the paint is really just uh, mopped on there as usual. Quite a bit of transparency in here. So what I'm gonna do now is I will start looking for the darkest darks and start creating a little bit of definition. Okay, so here's where I am now, and I like the abstract nature of it. There's some cleanup to do for sure, but again, I'm just out here playing around, having fun. Um, so I'm not gonna do that much more. <laughs> the buildings have sort of this, um, they're not very, how should we say, they're kind of soft and wobbly maybe. I don't know, that's a bad description, but um, I might try to straighten them up a little bit. Um, and just minimally, you know, maybe a few roofs and a few vertical lines with a smaller brush. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave it here. I use this number four uh, liner brush. This is kind of just a cheapy brush from Blick. But anyway, I use that to put a little bit of detail, some windows and whatnot. But I wanna leave it really loose and sketchy um, and just take it home and put it in a frame and we'll see what it looks like. This is probably the most public place I've ever uh, painted. And uh, as if that weren't enough, I'm also talking to you guys, talking to a camera, so people look at bold things. Uh, so if you're afraid to get out and paint, just do it. I, like, I'll set up anywhere now. And I was nervous in the beginning, too. You just got to do it. The more you do it, the... the more you do it, the more comfortable you get. And everybody's really supportive. That's another thing. So I set a timer so I wouldn't get a ticket. Uh, I'm just getting back to the car. It was a total of an hour and a half, so not bad. Somebody gonna get a free half hour. It's pretty loose, but actually I, I kind of like it. I like it the way it is. I don't know, I mean, I may do a little bit of touch up, but I don't know. See, that's what's interesting. You know, you get it home and I don't know, it looks all right. Where when I was out there, I thought it was super loose. I mean, it is super loose but it seems to be enough information. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, as usual, this video is made possible by the support I get on Patreon. I have a bunch of other videos on Patreon. I'll put a link down below. And other than that, stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.